Thanks once again for joining us. Just how vibrant are the campaigns ahead of the October 25th elections? Well, the campaigns are quite vibrant because also this is the last week. Uh, the last day of campaigns will be on Friday next week, and then Tanzanians will go to the polls on Sunday, the 25th of October. Uh, so far as we speak, uh, the race seems to be a true horse race between uh, the CCM candidate, that's the Chama Chama Pinduzi candidate, uh, Mr. Magufuli, and uh, the opposition candidate, Edward Noasa, who is representing a coalition of uh, opposition political parties under the umbrella of Chadema. Now, talking of uh, the former Prime Minister, Mr. Edward Lowassa, just how has his entry as a political heavyweight, just how has it changed the fortunes of the opposition? Now, even though uh, Mr. Dr. John Magufuli is still leading in the opinion polls, uh, what Edward Lowassa has done is that he has tilted uh, the scale and the support that the Chama Chama Pinduzi has enjoyed all these years. In fact, it is the first time that Chama Chama Pinduzi uh, is getting the stiffest competition uh, since 1961 when the country got independence. Remember, Chama Chama Pinduzi has led since then. But this is the first time, and because he's also been a member of Chama Chama Pinduzi, he only defected after he was not uh, nominated to be the flag bearer. Uh, and so he is seen also as a formidable uh, force and a formidable opposition against the ruling party candidate, Mr. Magufuli. Mm -hmm. But really, can this unification that you have talked about of Tanzania's four main opposition parties, can it really catapult Lowassa into the presidency? Well, uh, analysts are saying that even though he will not win, what it will have done is that it will have uh, shown that uh, Tanzanians are ready uh, to get Chama Chama Pinduzi out of uh, the ruling, out of the ruling the country. And in fact, they're saying that uh, the, the poll will be too close, and it is possible. Some even predicting that there may be a runoff uh, if, uh, if Dr. Magufuli does not get the required uh, percentage. Now, we know that, Sarah, that the allegations of corruptions uh, that have been leveled against Lowassa, which brings then the question, can he really upset the ruling Chama Chama Pinduzi candidate, uh, John uh, Magufuli? In fact, what uh, Dr. Magufuli has done is that he has made uh, corruption or the fight against corruption uh, his rallying call, and he has made that to be uh, his campaign pledge, uh, talking about uh, forming a special court to deal with corrupt people. But uh, Dr. Uh, Mr. Lowassa has always said that he's innocent, and he says that uh, he's not a corrupt person. Uh, other things that both, of the, both the candidates are talking about is providing free education for primary school or the way to secondary school. They're talking about uh, fighting corruption. Although Dr. Magfuli is one who's been very vocal, um, other things they're talking about is that both of them are swearing uh, that they will make sure that the election uh, goes with the violence and both of them saying that they will accept the outcome of the election. Now, we know that uh, uh, both Magufuli and Lowassa are former comrades. Uh, is there any ideological difference between these two candidates or is it more, uh, more uh, just a personality clash? Well, uh, it's a personality clash to an extent, uh, although Dr. Magfuli has, uh, during his tenure as a Minister for Roads and Public Works, uh, come out as a very strong candidate in terms of uh, fighting corruption, in terms of being a hands-on person. Uh, he's using that, saying that uh, during his tenure as a Minister for Roads and Public Works, he's been able to construct a lot of roads, he's been able to demolish houses that have been built uh, by the roadside and, in other words, managing to continue the infrastructure or development. Uh, Mr. Lowass, on the other hand, will talk about uh, having been a strong candidate that is needed uh, for change because those supporting him are talking about change. And so he is saying that he is a person, having been an insider in CCM, uh, the person who can bring about the change. And he says he has learned the weaknesses in the ruling party and he will be able to correct those weaknesses. And quickly, Sarah, from your observations there, is there real danger that uh, we could witness some violence during the elections? Well, uh, both candidates have sworn uh, to a violent free election. Uh, two days ago, President Kikwete spoke and said that uh, he will also ensure that the election is free, fair, and also free of violence. Because the, 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 the poll is too close. A lot of people have predicted uh, violence. But Tanzanian, uh, Tanzanian people are known uh, to be very peaceful. And it is likely that it will go uh, without any incidences. All right. Thank you so much. Uh, that was our East Africa correspondent there, Sarah Kimani.